Hey guys, it's Ashley with 3R Sales and Service. Today we're taking a look at a 7x16 enclosed tandem axle trailer. This is set up with a hot water pressure washer and a 12 volt soft wash system. This particular trailer is actually a used option that we had available. Every now and again, we'll get um, a trailer that's in great condition that's used so it saves the customer a little bit of money in the end um, if we're able to use that for their particular package. So um, we'll have you move in a little bit closer. I'll go over the options that are inside here. So starting up front with the hose reels, we've got three of the 12 inch Titan hose reels with the stainless steel manifolds. Um, the Titan hose reels are made out of aluminum, so it makes them a little bit more corrosion resistant. The top one is holding 200 feet of the half inch uh, soft wash hose. The middle has 200 feet of 3 8 pressure washer hose. And then at the bottom, we've got three quarter inch uh, of the Flexzilla garden hose. Um, these are all of the hand crank reels. And then if you wanna move on a little bit closer, I'll tell you about the hot water unit that we have back there. It's a 3500 PSI at eight gallon a minute Hydrotech SS system. This has a bleeder valve that comes off of the pump down there at the bottom. That just helps prime the pressure washer pump um, and get the air out of the line between the tank and the pump head. Uh, and then that drains right down through the floor so you don't have any water going into your trailer. On the panel, we've got the on-off controls for the burner and for the pump, and then we have the temperature control switch as well. And then you can see how we vent that out through the roof for the burner. Keep all of that, uh, that diesel soot or anything that kind of builds up to make sure that gets vented out properly so we have clean burns on everything. The exhaust actually gets vented through the floor of the trailer and then goes out from the, uh, from the bottom. So everything is perfectly exhausted outside the trailer. Moving around back, we'll take a look at the soft wash system. We'll go over the tank. So we have a 225 gallon water tank in here. The soft wash system has a chemical tank. It's a 20 gallon chemical tank that we have secured with the aluminum bands. So this particular application is for, uh, this customer is cleaning car wash bays. So we're using this system to apply the chemical that helps you know, get rid of that uh, soap residue that builds up in there or any of the calcium from the water supply, um, get that all cleaned up and, uh, and out of there. So that's what he's using his soft wash system for. It's not necessarily a residential application. So with that, we have our 12, uh, 12 volt pump, it's a seven gallon per minute, 100 PSI. We got the accumulator and we have the charger system for it. Uh, the on off switch is just right here, easy to access. And then we've got our plug at the bottom so that this can be charged as well and the battery that powers it. So the dipstick assembly goes down into the tank, pulls the chemical that he wants to apply. And then when he's ready to rinse out his system, all he does is take that dipstick and drop it down into the water tank to clean it all out. Um, that being said, on this water tank here, we have a, a pre-filter. So uh, this is the feed line that comes from your hose reel. So the hose reel connects to the spigot of the building that you're cleaning. That water flows through the hose reel up into your tank. So we're getting it a filter before anything makes it into the tank. Uh, that just keeps buildup or algae or whatnot from growing inside your tank, just helps with that a little bit. And then um, on the outgoing side, where it goes to the pressure washer, there's a filter to keep anything from getting from the tank to the pressure washer. So you've got two uh, filtrations there. The other line that we have in the top is our cool bypass line for the pressure washer. That keeps the pump nice and cool on your pressure washer when you are off the trigger. So it's keeping fresh water supply through there uh, so you don't have any dam uh, damage from that. We have one more tank on the driver's side here, it's another 20 gallon tank and that is our winterizing tank or it can be doubled as a soap tank when you don't have any winterizing fluid in there. So the reason we put these winterizing tanks together is because anybody who's in the Northern United States, um, we can switch from 30 degree weather to 60 degree weather overnight and vice versa. So you have to have a way to quickly antifreeze your system if you wanna be able to fire up during those times of year where it's a little bit um, uneasy, you don't know what the next day is gonna bring. So you put some uh, windshield washer fluid or antifreeze in there, and you can just flip a ball valve and draw that into your pressure washer system. You could drop that dipstick down into there and winterize this whole trailer within just a couple minutes. So it's very convenient to be able to do that versus taking a ton of antifreeze, filling up your 200 gallon tank, 
and trying to winterize your system from this large tank here. So much, much easier and cost effective. Um, the customer already had a surface cleaner with a previous pressure washer he used, so what we did was we switched out the nozzles in there to make it work with his 8 gallon a minute system, and we uh, made a spot on the wall here to secure everything in place. Um, other than that, I mean, we uh, did some paint in here just to make it a little bit uh, more of a, a water barrier between the, uh, the wood and the trailer. It is treated wood, so um, it wouldn't have hurt anything, just makes it look nicer for a longer period of time. Um, but otherwise, this is all set uh, for him to be able to use on the job. He's going to be picking it up later today. Um, and if this is something that interests you or you need a little bit more information about it, feel free to uh, reach out, give us an email or shoot, uh, give us a call, um, and we'll be able to help you out. Thanks.